To reach great heights, there often comes a great cost. For Master Duel players, reaching the highest peak of Master 1 could mean pulling packs, crafting guards, and building expensive decks. What if you couldn't use some of the most powerful and expensive cards in the game? What if your entire deck could only comprise of the cheapest, lowest rarity cards? In this series, I'll be challenging the Master Duel ranked ladder using only decks with normal or rare rarity cards. No supers and no ultras. Can such a low rarity deck reach the highest peak of Master Duel's ranked ladder? You'll have to stay tuned to find out. This is Master Duel in our only. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. And make sure to check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash smashedinygo so you can watch every episode as I record it live on Twitch. What's up, duelists? I'm Ashton, or Smashing Yu-Gi-Oh! Welcome to another episode of Master Duel NR Only, and this is NR Metal Foals. I called out last episode, asked you guys in the comment section below what decks you think I should try out, and throughout the entirety of this series, pretty much, Metal Foals has been one of the decks, along with Megalith, as sort of the top dog, so to speak, and I figured, you know what? We made it all the way to gold last time. Might as well see how far we can get if we start piloting something that you guys consider a little bit higher power. So this is our current build. Things are always subject to change. I also believe that going forward, because we had a lot of gadgets last time, and that was largely due to the fact that I was really trying to push for gold and wanted to do that in that sitting. Um, I'm gonna be trying to vary up our decks a little bit more often during the series so that just enough to where we have enough playing of a single deck to where we're learning it and really understand it, but then we can switch off, get some variety, switch back and forth between decks. Doesn't always have to be something different, but I wanna really diversify. I've got a whole list. I read through all of the comments on all of the videos and picked out all the decks that I thought would make for good content and we'll sort of intersperse them throughout for the remainder of the series and see if we can't get that illustrious master one but we're gonna go ahead and start with our in our metal foes let me go over it really quickly and then we'll get into the duel see how it does so we basically play a bunch of the in our metal foe cards all of them have the exact same effect or once per turn if they're in the pendulum zone you can target another face-up card you control destroy it and then if i do steady metal foes spell trap directly from your deck and each of the metal foes spell traps also have their own special effects Counter is going to be really important for us because if a card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon a metal foes from the deck. And then if it's in the graveyard, I can banish it from the graveyard and add a metal foes pendulum monster from extra deck to hand if we need it. More importantly, combination is really nice because it does have the main primary effect that once per turn, if a fusion monster is fusion summoned, you can target a metal foes monster in your graveyard with a lower level than it and then special summon that. But more importantly, if this card is sent from the fields of the graveyard, you can add a Meta Fools monster from your deck to your hand. We're going to be trying to abuse that effect as much as possible. We're also running three Bow Baboon because we can actually kind of abuse this card and trigger it three, four times sometimes to just try to get us to more draws. Because what this deck really wants to do is have two level seven Meta Fools onto the field that we summon off of the scales and then be able to go into our Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. Go ahead and link that thing off into like a gravity controller and then go into odd eyes vortex dragon which is an omni negate if you have a pendulum monster in the extra deck additionally we are playing some of the you know metal foals fusions like more importantly we have metal foals or a calc which is pretty good and if it's destroyed or just sent from the field to the graveyard you can target a car on the field and destroy it we're basically going to actually be able to have a turn one board for like the first time in our lives. So I'm kind of excited about that. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and see how it performs. We'll kind of talk through our combo as we get to them. If we get, you know, some decent hands. I have practiced the deck a little bit, sort of just as I've been, you know, preparing to get going here with this deck. I, I don't really play pendulums. I'm going to be completely honest and transparent about that. So this is going to be a learning experience for me. Be nice. Be, you know, understanding that I don't usually play pendulums, let alone in our pendulums. But I'm going to be learning. I'm going to be trying my best. Make sure you comment down below any suggestions or any things that I could change in plays, different things I could have done 
that I'm definitely gonna need your support. I am not an expert in this kind of decks. I barely ever play Pendulum at all. So I'm gonna need all your help that I can get if you wanna take this deck to its highest height. So if you're excited for all that, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so we can reach 1,000 subscribers very, very soon. And without further ado, let's get into the duels. All right, so season 28, uh, I'm gonna be perfectly honest here. I kind of had missed a month or so because um, I had some busy things going on. So we did demote twice. So we're gonna try to get this, this up fairly quickly if we can. So let's go ahead and switch this over our deck into our NR Metal Foes. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Go in second, which is perfectly fine to be honest because uh, we do, we have the ability to go first now, but we do also have the ability to go second. We have different cards like Dark Arm Dragon um, that we can play, which will let us go second. Sometimes it's just that easy. All right, so if we get if we keep getting duels like that, then we'll rank up in no time. But we're going first this time, so let's see if I can't figure out how to make this work. This hand kind of poses an issue because it's going to be pretty hard to get to our two level sevens so this is going to be this is going to be tough we'll say that this is, this is going to be a tough tough one here i think we're always starting with our volflame scale the scale eight then we're going to scale our silvered we're going to use the effect of silver to destroy the Volflame on our field. That's going to allow us to get a set card onto the field. Given our options, I think that we'll go for... We're going to grab um, the Fusion. The Parametal Fools Fusion because we're going to want to use it is, is going to be the reason. Um, we're going to... I think we'll be able to make Oracalc with this if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to go ahead and use it. And yes, we can make Oracalc. We can make any of our fusion monsters here. Uh, but I think we're going to want to focus on Oracalc here because he allows us to, you know, get some disruption on our opponent at least a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and special summon this guy, fusion summon him out into the field. We This isn't the best board that we can make, to be perfectly honest. But... Um, I mean, it's okay. If they beat over this thing, then I'll be able to pop something, and then we'll also have Metaphos counter. So I'm feeling okay. We can't get our normal monster on the field for Fist of the Unrivaled Tenyi. We have Berserker of the Tenyi here for that. Um, would be, it's not impossible for this deck to get three materials after all said and done to be able to set this up. But for now, we're just going to sit on this and, you know, hope for the best. That's a good sign. That's a terrible sign. <laughs> Actually, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Because if they pop our back row, like we get the counter effect, right? Yeah, we'll get that on our turn. Be able to get a Metal Foles from our extra deck uh, to our hand. Go on Battle Phase? Sure. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, I'm okay with this. I'm actually okay with this. Chalice is not really going to be all that helpful, but we're going to go ahead and use Metal Pulse Counter here. We're going to get our Silver back to our hand. Honestly, it might not be a terrible idea to just normal the Silvered and then just get in for damage. As weird as that sounds, I think I'm going to do that. Because funnily enough, this is a lot of damage. Um, I could get greedy here, but I'm not going to. I can just use this. Because we're going to do double piercing damage on whatever this is. It's just a hyper hand hit, hammerhead. Unfortunately, that is going to put our Ori Calc back. But that's okay. That's okay. We did a lot of damage in this turn. And, fun fact. So, Fist of the Unrivaled Penny, when a spell trap card or monster effect is activated while you control a face-up non-effect monster, negate the activation... And if this set card you control is destroyed by your opponent's card effect, you can special summon one non-effect monster from your extra deck. Uh, I believe the Metal Foe Silvered will count as a non-effect monster. 
So we actually have two negates on the board, which is kind of insane. I might actually run more of that card if that comes up. I, we'll see. We'll see. We'll always get you guys' input too. Comment down below um, how good you think Unrivaled Tenyi is. But oh, Cyber Dragon's kind of nuts. I'm not going to lie about it. Battle phase. Mm, Cyber Dragon's crazy. So the unfortunate thing about this is that we could actually Forbidden Chalice here and that would protect my Silvered. Uh, well, it wouldn't protect it, but it would. we would crash in that scenario. I don't think it's worth. I'll let you kill it. Not sure what we draw here that get us out of this. Hmm. All right. So Gold Driver is actually pretty good. Gold Driver is actually pretty good. I'm um, hmm actually pretty good i'm gonna normal summon it we're gonna go into battle i'm gonna go ahead and chalice here buff me by 400 we're bigger than the cyber dragon so we clear it and then we're good to go kind of <laughs> this is like caveman Yu Gi Oh over here uh just kind of hope that they don't have another cyber dragon i guess never the best thing when you're just hoping they don't have like a three of card but hey you know you never know ah okay okay no you're gonna rush recklessly me oh my god do i use this it's not a rush recklessly fuck it send it <laughs> negate the rush recklessly bro <laughs> send it oh gosh dude really jeez is this like a masochist or something like is that what's going on here come on come on come on Ooh, bow baboon could be better i mean bow baboon doesn't actually bow baboon's pretty good here i'm gonna normal summon it we use this effect just because. But that's definitely. This basically lets us, like, get rid of bad draws in a way. So we could go into Cross Sheep. That's really dumb. We're going to crash here. I want to get two Bow Baboons. Um, what that's going to do is get me access to an XC play. Um. We're not going to use their effects because it's kind of pointless at this point. This gets us into an XC play where we can go... Actually, you can do this. No, that's fine. Uh, we go into this here. Super Quantal Mech Beast Gram Pulse. Now, what this card's going to allow us to do is normally... What we would want to do is use its effect to detach one target a spell trap card on the field and destroy we usually want to target our own card to be honest but in this scenario we don't have a spell trap to get rid of so we're actually going to use this effect to pop theirs we're going to get rid of this dust tornado okay solid solid and we're actually just going to sit on that at this point i'm thinking that they're playing like a masochist deck so I'm okay with just like sitting on a 2800 defense guy. Magician souls. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. <laughs> oh gosh. That's. Oh, wow. What in the heck? Okay, sure. Wow. Cyber Phoenix. Cyber Phoenix is an SR? Dude, come on. Really? I mean, Cyber Phoenix is cool and all, but like, really? 
Ooh. Now that's fun. All right, we're always doing this first, I think. I just don't... If this is a masochist, that back row could be literally anything. I'd rather just not deal with it. Okay, sure. Um, So the thing we can do here is we could scale the steel in. Pop gold driver. They would go there. We could get... I mean, we already used parametal fuel We'd have to have combination, and that's not really going to do anything at this point. Hero attack, but 2100 defense. I mean, that's respectable, I guess. I think right now, we're just going to go into battle. We'll kill the Phoenix. They can draw a card. That's fine. They're probably always drawing a card anyway. So, if you're ever wondering... <laughs> how a masochist deck and an NR deck would stack up. Uh, this is about how it would go. <laughs> this is kind of the level that we're at. Honestly, kind of low-key pulling up with like a gadget and like replenishing my hand here. I'm not going to lie. Not saying gadgets are better than Metal Fools, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Probably would have been over. It would have been over by now. <laughs> That's the luck of the draw sometimes. I'm going to keep this steel in my hand because if we can get another scale, we'll be sitting pretty pretty. A tribute summon? Oh, just straight up Dark Magician Girl. Fair enough. Yep. That'll work. Now we really want to scale one. If we can get a scale one... Um, I think we'll be feeling pretty good. All right, come on. Give me a good draw here. Good draw, good draw, good draw. Uh, that's skill one. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, scale. Scale. Go ahead and pin summon now. We have no reason not to. We can only pin summon one. Kind of blows. Not gonna lie. That's okay. It's okay. Make it work. We'll make it work. So we need to go for. We could go gravity controller. I think we do that. I think we use effect. I think we pop gold driver. I think we get us a. Metal Foles counter. I think we do steel in here. We pop the gold driver. And then we get combination. We might get fusion. I think we get fusion actually. Get that sucker on the field. And we just pass. Another set. Okay. All right. That's another scale one. That's just it. Oh, wow. Wow. That's incredible. This could get me into adamant. Um. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna sit for a second. Hold on. Just, just hold on. Just hold on. <laughs> Holy. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the effect. We're going to... Oh, it has to be face up. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's all, it was all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. Because now we can use counter. <laughs> Y'all thought I was bullshitting my way through it. And I was. But now we can use counter... And that's going to let us get a big dude onto the field. Honestly, at this point, we're going to just get a big guy. I'm kind of just going to get this big dude right here. Like, right here. Slap him onto the field, you know? Um, We can scale gold driver. We can pen summon a guy. 
2500 or less attack. So yeah. Let's scale. Let's go ahead and pen summon. We're going to pen summon a gold driver. Fun, big surprise. Uh, we'll use... Fusion. We can actually make Oracle. Which actually probably just wins the game. So I think I'm going to do that instead. I think this just wins the game. This actually wins the game. Let's go battle. Please don't be some crazy stuff. It doesn't win the game. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. It doesn't win the game. Um, it's fine though. I'm gonna I can use this to pop Elin, get another metal foes, but I think I'm actually gonna sit on the scales. I want to be able to summon next turn if they have something. Okay, I like to see that. Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and use the counter here. I'll get my level seven back to my hand because it's nice. Nice like that. Go ahead and flip the combination as well. It's not actually going to do anything, but it's face up. So if I do want to pop it, which I probably, oh my God, that's the best draw on the deck. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I was, what I need to do turn one, right? This is kind of what the point is. Um, we can special summon one of these guys, but the important part is to mess up and not click both level seven. Never mind. I'll show you guys next time. <laughs> let's just let's just go. Let's just go. Let's win the game. <laughs> let's just win the game. Let's just win the game. GG's. GG. <laughs> God. Oh. Oh, jeez. You guys are gonna have to tell me. Uh, definitely give me some support in the comments, cause. Uh, I like kind of know what I'm doing. But at the same time, it's going to be trial and error for sure with this deck. All right. So the problem we have with this one is that I don't see a clear way to get to our level seven on the first turn. Kind of blows. I'm not going to lie. So the I wonder if the better move is to just go straight into Oracalc here. So we can do one of two things here. We can either like immediately Metal Foes Fusion go into Oracalc, set space pass, or we can just basically do that up for next turn because we could go scale Melcaster, scale uh, Bismu Gear, pop Bismu Gear. We can search for a Metal Foes monster from deck to hand at the end phase, which could get us the other level seven. Scale, Gold Driver, Pop, Melcaster. Melcaster, get Bismu Gear back to our hand. Then we just set, few, like, Typhoon and pass. Just leave ourselves wide open. I, I don't like that as much. I'm going to go Metal Fist Fusion. I'm going to make uh, Oracalc here. Yeah, we're going to make Oracalc. We're going to use Gold Driver. I do want to keep the level 7 in my hand. We're gonna make Oracalc. We're gonna set MST. And we're gonna pass. Okay, so they're playing Gaia, which immediately presents a problem because Gaia just has like big dudes. <laughs> oh, maybe Scales was right because we could have got the traps and that would have been important. I don't know. There's a lot, there is a lot more thinking with this deck. I'll tell you that. You can't just say, oh, just normal summon a gadget, grab a gadget. You know what I mean? Oh, geez. Yep, fair enough. Uh, huh? Okay. Okay, so Oracalc, activate. 
We're gonna go ahead and I think we're actually gonna get rid of the back row. Brace of the Testina. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of one of the back rows. I'm gonna MST another back row, so I only have to deal with one. Argument, you could just kill Lord Gaia, but I don't know. All right, in phase, we'll go ahead and space this one. Bent straw. Is this another masochist? All right, we have two level sevens in our hand. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to do with them. That's going to be the problem. But we do got to make plays. Hopefully set up for another turn here. We'll go Melcaster, Pop Full Flame. This time, oh, we could just make another one. Right? Kind of? No, not really. We can't make another one. We're going to go counter for sure. That's it. That's the turn. I don't know, guys. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. This is, this is looking rough. <laughs> this is looking rough. I mean, in hindsight, definitely should have went for the setup play on turn one, but like another Lord or red familiar. Um, there's gonna be a lot, huh? Okay. I mean, fair enough. Maybe you're looking out for like a Spear Force or something, even though you already know what this is. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So we scale this. Use Melcaster's effect. Pop. We'll get. Combinate. I think we're dead. <laughs> I think we're dead. Uh, no, no, no. We can counter. We can counter. We can Metal Force counter here. We need to get a high scale. So we're going to grab... Is Mugir maybe? Or Volflame for that matter. We'll go Volflame. We're going to special summon Volflame. We need the damage. They have a response to the summon. I don't care. We're just actually just going to go battle. And we're going to kill this thing because it's too big. <laughs> He's too big. He's far too big for my liking. Um, we're going to pass. Lord of D. Thor. They got the D, man. They got the D. Are they going to crash all their monsters? I've been feeling like this is a bot. I've been feeling heavily like... I think this is a bot. Giving me like mad bot vibes. Because <laughs> of shit like that. This is like bot behavior. Which is weird because this is like a masochist deck, so I'm not exactly sure why you would use a bot for a masochist deck. Um, just seems like an odd choice. Seems like almost they forgot that they had their masochist deck, uh, like made. They're like, I don't know, fuck it, just send it. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll finish it out here. We'll use counter. We'll get our Volflame back to our hand. We'll go ahead and flip this up because I, I don't care. At this point, it doesn't matter, and the activation little prompt can go away. <laughs> like, no offense. But, like. Alright, we're gonna scale steal in. They have a response. Ring of Destruction. Wow. Sure. That'll work. Anyway, uh, we'll pen summon. We'll go for, we'll bring him right back out. We'll make another one. 
That one will go on attack. This one will go on attack. And then we'll just go to battle. We'll close it out. Man. The bots, the masochists, they're, they're all over the place. 